Red FM at We the Women Town Hall. So first of all, Navya, I want to know you uh, from US. We the Women. How was the uh, experience of yours and your mom, Shweta? How was uh, it? It was great. Uh, one of I think the many few occasions I've had to you know got to be with her on stage, so that's always nice. And uh, meeting Bharka is always a pleasure, and um, it's always nice to be around so many women, um, such great women. So it's been a great experience. Yeah, it was like you know a lot of information. It was very heavy. Also, I went for the session as well. So on the lighter side. Saw you on Instagram. You went to Bhopal. How was it? That's great. My Didu lives there. Actually, my uh, mom's, my, her, my mom's my nani. So my um, we go there to visit her a lot, and it's always a great time. Did you catch the Bhopali twang? There's a typical twang in Bhopal. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so quickly on the lighter note, uh, ma'am, Navya, uh, a lie that you've told your mom. A lie that I've told my mom. Yeah. That she. Knows of that, or she doesn't know. She she's doesn't. Most of my lies. Navya is a very bad liar, and every time she lies, she's been caught. I'm But bizarre. her constant lie is, Navya, have you taken this vitamin that? And yeah, yeah, and she's not that. Yeah. Bad. Did you take your medicine this morning? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> and she hasn't. And I haven't. <laughs> What is your reaction? Because the the mother daughter dynamics are very interesting. Always in our country, Indian yes. mothers and daughters. Yeah. If she wants to get a tattoo, what do you think about it? We just I uh, spoke about this on stage. We, these are but I don't think she spice. would tell me, and even if she got it, she'd conceal it. I would. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't like tattoos, but that's just my opinion. I would. And it's her body at the end it, of the so. day. What have you scolded her most for ever till now? Being very very untidy. Yeah. <laughs> very t- untidy. She leaves and losing things all the time. She's doing a yeah. hundred things. Quite irresponsible. She borrows my charger. Everyone's thing. Charger is lost. Yeah. She the latest one was my iPad pencil lost. Yeah. You're going to pay for I'll it and buy you, me I'll one. Yeah. But aren't like the creative people supposed to be like loving the yeah, chaos it's okay, theory? It's okay. It's okay, but yeah. they can't be that mum, forgetful and she's it's not an that creative mess. also that she keeps it's forgetting an everything. Mess. Last simple two questions. Um, see, I feel that today being a young person. You know, a 25-year-old or a 20-year-old, it's already very tough. There are so many social pressures. There's social media. There is expectations. There are so many communications from all over. Oh, you have to do women empowerment. No, no, no. You know, you have to be, you know, balanced about your uh, point of views or whatever. And over that, and I say it with all honesty, when you have somebody like your nanu or your, you know, your family, and a lot of people can say that my nana ji is Amitabh Bachchan. Is a lot of pressure on you because how do you cope up with that pressure? Because if I keep myself in your shoes, it looks tough. No, I I think uh, a lot of young people my age are probably under a lot of the same pressures of of work, um, of you know, especially with women of being a certain way, being judged for being a certain way, and especially women in the workplace. So I think those are pretty much the same kind of pressures that I deal with. I wouldn't say anything. Added on, um, I wouldn't use pressure as a word. I think being in the position I have been in, and you know, the family I've been given has only been a blessing. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that any pressures. Ma'am, uh, being, you know, you again like so many things which comes as you were talking on the stage also that you know, when you come from a certain family, people just look at the bright side of things. They don't know what happens behind. Like you know, every family goes through struggles. Every family has emotional issues. plus you are a working person you have your own brand you have done so much in the past you're still doing so many things what do you have to say to the women of today who are because i feel personally and that's a very honest opinion that you know there is so much they have to juggle between their professional and personal lives what is one thing that you will tell anybody who's struggling out there to do it because there are women you know they might not talk about it they might be still smiling in front of their mother in laws and their mothers but it is tough So, what do you have to tell them? I feel um, for women out there, it's very, very important to take time out for yourself. Whether it's you know reading a book or even just sitting and listening to music, whatever it is, this like as women and especially in 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 countries like ours where you live in like a joint family, you have a lot of responsibilities. Very seldom do women put themselves first. So, carve out some time for yourself in the day. even if it's a passive activity like listening to music or, or the radio or or you know watching something you enjoy 
just take that time out and do something for yourself and i think it it goes it it adds up you know um it it helps you deal with a lot of what the world throws at you last question one song that you want red fm to play always both of you your own like one song one favorite song that you think that you know when i turn on red fm i wish i could listen to that song navya you say for both we listen to similar music i mean my re- recent favorite song is urja by ofi yeah, savera so it. that's a big favorite of mine currently so i could listen to that on loop same. right now same brilliant so that is what the hell navya navya <laughs> and the brilliant shweta for you thank you thanks thank thanks you. a lot ma'am thank, thank you, you. thank you, thank you.